If Swansea is not my attacker, it means somebody else came here tonight. Someone must know something. Barkeep. Welcome back. Did you find what you were after? Actually, I no. Say I have. Are you sure no one else came into your bar before I arrived? Hey, I told you, you were the only other stranger I've had. I think you're hiding something. I think you're hiding something from me. I hide many things from many people, sir. That's what my job's about. I don't know, I think your job is to serve me drinks, but okay. Goodbye, Mr. Watts. Alright, what about you? Good you evening, seem like sir. you're gonna open your mouth I and talk to anybody who asks. Ask wow. You look like you need a drink. Yes. I apologize for my outfit. It's been... It's been a long night. Been there, seen that. Don't worry, things can only get worse. Alright. Did anyone come in the bar? Has anybody entered the bar recently? Can't say. Sorry. I spent the night making love to that gorgeous bowl, see? This is important, sir. Are you sure no one has come in here in the last few hours? I don't know and I don't care. This is a free country. People still have the right to come and go, don't they? Alright. What's going on around here? It's like everybody is hiding. You must be new here. Have you not heard about the murders? Everybody fears the return of the sewer dog. The sewer dog? What the fuck? Who is this sewer dog? It's the local bogeyman. Convenient answer for every crime that happened for decades. You murdered someone, blamed a sewer dog, eh? Eh. The Jack the Ripper got it. Alright, cool. I'll leave you to your bottle then. Thanks for being useless. Hello, ma'am. Evening, sir. Can I help you? I have a few questions for you. <sighs> well, if you must. I want the truth. Wow, that's more than a question. I got a few. I got a. I got a few questions for you. Well, if you must, I want the truth. I spoke to Doctor Swansea. He's not the man I'm looking for. Now I want the truth. The truth? What do you mean? I yeah. suspect that someone else was here tonight, and I don't think Tom wants to tell me about it. I'm just the barmaid here, okay? If Tom says you're the only visitor we had, then you're the only visitor we had. I can feel your fear, madam. Please, tell me what's going on. It was Will. William Bishop. He came in here earlier tonight and he... Well, I thought he was going to clock someone. Huh. What happened? What happened tonight? He, he was dead drunk, as usual. But my God, his, his, his eyes. His face. He must have caught something awful. He shouted and, and, and cried. It was terrible. Man, that sounds like a problem. Tell me more. Tell me about this William Bishop. Will was a sailor who worked at the canning factory before he lost that job. A nice bloke, really. He's never been violent. Until tonight. Why keep it a secret? Why not tell me about it? Tom's nothing if not loyal. After Will lost his job, he offered him one ear. They used to be good mates. But recently, well... Will started to get very aggressive. I see. Thank you for your candor. I'll be sure to talk to Tom. All right. You just discovered a hint. It reveals secrets about citizens or someone related to them. All right. Now, there are also times where you can completely fuck up getting the hint and you can completely fuck up getting those extra points. I'll be honest, I don't know everything in this game. I've only played it a handful of times. I still haven't beaten this game at all. So, and even when I was playing it, I wasn't really paying attention to the story too much. I was just kind of doing it because I just want to play the game. But, you know, hopefully I don't fuck it up. So if you're looking for like a guide or anything, this is definitely not the video for you. I'm going to tell you that right now. And then also I'm going to tell you that that door you just closed I bet it's locked. It's locked, all right. You again? What can I do for you? All right. When you get hints, you can talk to people. Goodbye, Mr. Watts. Oh shit! My bad. <laughs> I should just run as Hello, far away sir. From this no, I don't want to talk May to you. I just Stop. Stop you again, and you're still ugly as sin. Oh, what the fuck? What was that about? I'll leave you to your bottle then. 
Hey, dickhead. Are they stupid? You again. What can I do for you? Tom, talk to me about the visit from your old friend, William. Yes, Will came by tonight, but he's not my friend anymore. Oh yeah, by the way, I, I guess the story reason is when you have hints, you can use your little vampire demanding powers. Why the hell you lie to me? Why lie to me if he is not your friend? I didn't lie. I said you were my only unannounced customer, and that's the truth. I don't think I asked who was unannounced. I asked who the fuck came here, but okay. I need to find him. It's a matter of urgency. Do you know where he is? You could try his boat. It's up by the North Pier. He sleeps there when he's too drunk to get home. Please describe him to me. What do you expect? He's a tall, sick bastard with a bad rash and torn old clothes. William used to be strong. Now he's a mess. Thank you, Tom. If you see him, tell him I don't want him back here unless he cleans up his act, okay? All right. Thank you, Tom. Are they stupid or something? Okay, what was that about? I don't. I just walked past you, lady. All righty then. My bad. I gotta. I run through. There we go. I will get to the bottom of this intrigue. What's been done to me? To this city? All right, I'm at the docks. Hey. You must be good old William. The body is still warm. William Bootstrap this Bill Turner. Been drained of blood. Is that you? Examine the outfit. Why would I do that? Fuck that. Pick up the note. What's this? Some sort of note. <laughs> to docks patrols. Object. Multiple deaths in the docks region. We believe a nasty leech is involved. Locate the beast. Purge it. And, and quickly warning according to the recent reports the vampire is very violent approach with extreme caution i know we lack men in the part in these parts of the town but don't send rookies to investigate the case if i'm correct we got a frenzy one killing each night as always search abandoned places first like old houses basements sewers and warehouses destroy the leech my brothers these men they're a company of professional vampire hunters Huh. This corpse has been dried of its blood, just like the previous victim. Wait, so you're not William? This man was armed. He tried to defend himself. Blood and empty gin bottles. This bishop fellow is something of a heavy drinker. There are blood splats on the other side of the canal. I must reach that barge. How will I possibly reach it? If only I was a vampire. Oh, wait, I am. Alright. For the most part, you're probably going to see me traveling around the world like this. Because I think that's the fastest way to do it. <laughs> Opportunity to attack. How many? Only the two? Alright. So you can get yourself a nice little sneak attack if you just get up in there, you know? All right. Also, don't be afraid to get up in there, you know? Get up in there and, and fucking hit somebody with something. Ammunition Range weapons. Crate. Good. I may need a lot of bullets. I feel like I'm back on the front line again. All right. I'm just going to look around real quick. Uh-oh. Alright. Come on. Um, there we go. Alright. So, you got some different types of damage. You got range, melee, shadow, and blood. So, orange indicates a medium resistance. Red is a high resistance. I don't think there's anything that indicates weakness. If there is, it might be yellow or something. I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah. For example, my blood spear, where I throw my blood and I go, bleh, right? That's a blood attack. Your melee weapon is melee. Your gun is range. So on and so forth. 
All right. You you don't see me? Do you not? Hi. Hello. Thank you. Now you just cut you to fuck up. There we go. Oh yeah, just because item, uh, items, just because enemies have resistances, don't be afraid to use that attack. Sometimes it really helps to just go all out. You know, are those shillings? I will take that. Thank you. It costs one shilling to dock your boat, sir. How about two shillings? And we forget the name. I fucking love that part from from a uh, Curse of the Black Pearl, right? Because they do that, and the little kid looks at the guy, he's like, you gonna take that money? <laughs> Alright, now if you want to, you can totally avoid fighting by just sneaking around. But, I highly, if you're gonna go the, if you're gonna go the good boy route, and not kill people, ah! You stabbed me in my back, dude. If you're gonna go the good boy route, and not kill people, I recommend... That you fight as many enemies as possible. But also, pick your fights wisely. That's why I love Blood Spear. It goes through enemies. You can just make it more powerful later on. Alright. So, for the most part, I'm going to try not to hang around areas too much. Because if I remember correctly, this game is actually pretty fucking long. What? Can I can I talk to you or are you just hanging out out here? I'm going to look around real quick. Because again, you want to grab as many items as you can. They're going to come in handy. Oh my god, where the fuck did you come from? Ow. I hit my Ow. I had to get my strength back, my endurance. There we go. Give me that. Pick that up. Ooh, I got a gun. Nice. Can I? Oh shit! How do I? How do I equip it? I hate the way the menus work in this game, honestly. All right, here we go. Let's see. 106 damage, uh, rate of fire, reload time 2, 6, stun. When I use guns, I always, you can go for damage if you want, but I always go for stun. Because I think that helps out way more. How do I equip it though? Oh, you equipped it by doing this. I'm sorry, offhand. There we go. And it doesn't, doesn't hurt to have like another item on hand. All right. And then press left and right on the D-pad, respectively. And that's what you got. All right. Just looking around. Can I open this? I cannot enter. I cannot enter. Now, if you ever need a little bit of extra blood, oh my god, there's still people down here. If you ever need some little extra blood, you can kill rats. They don't affect anything, like, to your moral standing or anything in the game. So just, just feed on rats. The only thing that you'll get is that Dr. Reed here will just go, Oh man, this is disgusting. I'm eating rats. But since you're a vampire and there's zero risk of disease, why not? Just start sucking it all up. Put that little rat in your face. All right, hideout discovered. Now I don't think um, unless they updated this game or something since the last time I played it, I don't think they have uh, they have any fast travel system. I don't. They might. Maybe you can fast travel through hideouts. Uh, weapon upgrades. Learn how to upgrade your weapons. Guess what? It's helpful if you upgrade your weapons. Uh. Hmm. I'm gonna upgrade that. Which one do I want? Increase damage or increase handling? What does handling do for me? Stamina? Oh, okay, well, no. Go for damage. Always go for damage. Bam. I'm not gonna worry too much about the other items. Because I'll switch them out later. For better ones. Hmm. I 
think that's it, right? Yeah, that's it. Fresh blood. The whole building reeks of it. The scent is so strong it makes me dizzy. The blood is what you're worried about? It's fucking skull and bones here, man. Motherfucker, pick them shits clean. Alright, two-handed weapons. Two-handed weapons, they're slow. And they also have special abilities, I guess. Let's see. Wait, what? Equip two-handed weapons and press triangle to use its special ability. The scythe, for instance, can be used to parry incoming attack. Oh, really? I didn't even know that. I barely use two-handed weapons in this game because, you know, I'd rather be nice and fast and hit as hard as I can while being fast. Oh, dear God. Not again. William, please. This creature is bedeviled. I must put it down. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's not wise. I don't recommend it. Ah, he's biting me. Bastard. I forgot you guys can do that. Uh. Come here. I can bite too, bitch. It hurts. Don't it. Darn it. Darn it. Fucking hurts. Yeah, you thought you were going to jump on me. Come do it. Oh, but you missed. Now you're dead for it. Are you okay, sir? William was an honorable man. I could have saved him. Mr. Hampton, are you in there? We knew him well. Another lost soul, a kindred spirit. Sir, listen to the sound of my voice. I am... I am a doctor. You're suffering from shock. I must return to my flock. They'll stray without me. Thank you, kind lady. Remember, certain scowls are every bit as resistant as we are. Who are you? What do you mean by scowl? You truly are a newborn. I should have realized... Wait. You, you are the woman from the bar. Are you... like me? Can you help me? I believe, sir, I already have. Oh, you're a smart ass. I like that. I like you. You're cool. By George and the Saints, you've solved the mystery of these terrible murders. Patience, good fellows. I've come to offer help. Just give me a moment to secure my boat. We can leave this awful place. William was not the evil man they claimed. He was just taken by the thirst. He needed his drink. This man requires medical attention. We'll see he gets to the nearest hospital. No, please. I almost tend to my fault. My flock needs me. Yes, go with the good Dr. Swansea. He's resourceful, and I'm sure he'll take good care of you. You'd best come as well. The sun is soon to rise, and you'll need a place to rest. I just need a moment. If I can learn something about what has happened to William, I'll be a step closer to understanding what happened to me. All right. This poor creature can't be my maker. Sample of William's blood. Could it be some subspecies of vampire? I must find a place to analyze the Oh my blood. God. I never realized this. Oh, that's kind of, kind of fucked up. <laughs> Just a little fucked up. Just kind of, you know, maybe not that bad. You know what? Maybe it has a certain genetic quality to it. You know what I mean? Oh. Like I said, make sure you loot as much as possible in this game. You're going to thank me later. Is that? Oh, that's just a stool. Okay. I'm ready to go, Dr. Swansea. Dr. Swanathan Jonathan. Wait, isn't his name Jonathan? Wait, no, I'm Jonathan. I'm Jonathan Reed. I'm just a doctor. So, uh, we're just gonna sit here in silence? Where are we headed? We're on our way to the Pembroke Hospital. It's just across the canal. They'll have a bed for poor Mr. Hampton. 
William was... What manner of creature was he? Predator, prey, villain, and victim. Who can say? The important thing is that he's been stopped. Duly noted. And the woman? What... Who is she? What woman? No, don't play me for a fool. You used me to locate that skull. You must know who she is. And I thought you were gentlemen. You shouldn't talk about a lady behind her back. But I will tell you, she values her privacy. Hmm. Were London as peaceful as she appears from the middle of the canal? If only that were the reality of the situation. To be honest, I've always tried to avoid this part of town. Pembroke Hospital is the last bastion between the rest of London and the epidemic. The flu has decimated the East End and the war still rages. Welcome to the front lines of a plague. This is where you work, Dr. Swansea. I am the administrator of Pembroke Hospital. I thought you were here in service of your mysterious order, the Brotherhood of... Of St. Paul's Stole, yes. But first and foremost, I'm a man of science. A physician, like yourself, Dr. Who? Reed. How do you know who I am? No need for modesty. You are Dr. Jonathan Reed, a surgeon of some caliber and renown, if I'm not mistaken. You are correct, sir. I knew it! I had my suspicions. But when you took the blood sample from the corpse of poor William, I was certain. Dr. Reed, marvelous. I am marvelous. Have we met? I attended three of your seminars before the war. I have the utmost admiration for your research. And what a turn of fate. England's most esteemed blood specialist returns to London a vampire. <sighs> that word again, from a so-called man of science. I understand. Traditionally, the role of science is to refute myth. But when myth walks among us, the Brotherhood of St. Paul has dedicated its purpose to their study. There's so much for you to learn. Of that, you are right. Well, Why don't we stop? Are we here? Then let me be blunt. Join my staff at Pembroke Hospital. As a physician. I suspect you'll not find a better post of employment to contemplate your uh, predicament. This is sudden. I was returning home to see my sickly mother. But alas, that was before contracting this... affliction. Dr. Reed, take a moment to consider. The post would be for the night shift, providing a good explanation for your absence during daylight hours. You'll be adequately reimbursed and have a place to hide. I even had the forethought to bring some clean clothes. So, what do you say? It seems I have little choice, but yours is a generous offer, so I thank you. Brilliant! Oh, Jonathan, this is one for the book, and the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Beautiful friendship indeed. Now, take me away. I was beginning to be concerned. Worry no more, Nurse Crane. For I bring good news. Oh, Doctor, what a night. We lost two more patients. Nurse Scow said she couldn't take it anymore and resigned. Yes, well, I'll make a new rotor in the morning. In the meantime, find a... good bed for Mr. Hampton. Be sure to pay attention to his needs. Of course, Doctor. Oh, and Dorothy? Yes, Doctor? Dr. Reed here has just returned from the front. He served King Country and will be joining us here at Pembroke. We're very lucky to have gained a surgeon of his talent, and one so experienced in blood transfusions. That is good news indeed, Doctor. <laughs> oh, yes. Here at Pembroke, it's not what we have, but what we haven't. It's only thanks to Nurse Crane and the staff that our ship doesn't sink. If you have any questions, just ask her. Duly noted. 
Thank you. Your assistance is required, Dr. Swansea, immediately. Welcome aboard, Jonathan. We'll catch up after my rounds. I'm coming, Nurse Crane. I'm coming. All right. Now it's all started. Time to get acquainted. Come on, you bastard. You can do better than that. Nah. It's my turn. Rotten or crusty, each heart contains the seeds of life. Drink at this river, dry it all. You just killed that dude in cold blood. Yeah. Oh, come on, you bastard. I won't bite. Sir, please. You've lost too much blood. Calm yourself. You think I didn't notice? Stop your staring and get me to an hospital, you ass. Hmm. I mean, I'll let you bleed out. I can do that. I don't mind to let you bleed out. Good luck then, sir. All right, all right, sorry. I am in pain here. My guts are spilling out onto the street and you're yabbering on. Yes, that's a very nasty wound you've got there. Take my word, I was, I am a doctor, Dr. Jonathan Reed. <sighs> Name's Clay Cox. I'd appreciate you helping me to a better place, Doc. Follow me, Mr. Cox. Let me assist you to that better place. All right. Now, we talked about it earlier a little bit. The blood quantity is up there. It's basically the experience you get for getting your fill, right? In order to get these people, you also need to increase your me your mesmer uh, fuck your mesmerized level, which only really happens through story stuff and quests and stuff like that. So. It's not that you can just walk up to anybody and mesmerize them and suck their blood. You gotta wait. You gotta be patient. You gotta know when the right time to strike is. So, whenever you're ready, just grab somebody by the face. Bring this fading light into the shadows. Dance with him the dance of life and death. Alright, you get this nice wonderful little blood trail and tells you where to go to take them for the embrace now I'm a good guy no more not tonight not like this I will not take another life all right now let, let me talk to you let, let me let me let me talk to you What happened? All right. Well, don't worry about him. He'll be fine. He's not gonna bleed out. You'll uh, we'll get him some help. It is wise for the huntsman to sometimes let his prey go, but no famished hunter can run for long. All right. Now all out the way. Welcome to the Primbrook Hospital. This is going to be your main hideout and main hub for a while. Doctor, where have you been? I've little time to play hide and seek with new staff members, no matter how illustrious they may be. I found a wounded man by the docks. He answers to the name of Clay Cox. He requires urgent medical attention. Already making the rounds? That's the Pembroke spirit. I'll ask our porter, Milton, to bring him back immediately. Thank you, nurse. What can I do for you? Dr. Swansea insisted we provide you a quiet office. You'll find it on the second floor with your name on the door. Thank you. Nurse Crane, isn't it? Yes, Dorothy Crane. Welcome to Pembroke Hospital, Dr. Reed. Your office has been prepared. Thank you, Nurse Crane. I got a few questions, though. I'd like to ask a few questions first. Uh, how is Mr. Hampton? And Mr. Hampton, the patient we brought in. 
How does he fare? I gave him a sedative to help him sleep. Poor thing was in quite a state of shock. All right. And that's pretty much it. Thank you, Nurse Crane. Because she's not going to help out with any of the other questions. Don't worry too much about Dorothea. She's really nothing to worry about as of right now in the game. When it comes to the Primbrook Hospital. So, without Dr. further ado. Is right. This place seems perfect to conduct my research. Without further ado. <coughs> oh god, I don't know what the fuck just happened. Without further ado, let's head up to our office. And, uh, you know, make some progress, shall we? You also want to check around, check around here. We get the hacksaw. A nice little note. You can read that if you feel so inclined to. Make sure that you read every note that you get. Well, not read, at least go to the area for area. Go to the page for it. So that the game recognizes that you read it so you can have all the hints that you need this must be the place it's definitely away from prying eyes relegated to the shadows a kingdom of my own at least I won't be sleeping in a coffin is this a note? no it's not it's just background here's a note Article on Ekons. Basically, Ekon, if you ever play Vampire the Masquerade or any other type of vampire bullshit, you know there's the hierarchy of the vampires, the higher echelon and the fucking, and the lower little rats. Ekons here, in this, uh, in this continuity for vampires, are basically the Ventru. So, you, you can feel free to read that if you want. But Ekons are pretty much the uh, superior vampire. A rarer breed of vampire. The flower's dying. It needs water. It needs water, but I'm not going to give it water. Alright. Let's analyze William's blood. And now, we can heal ourselves. For a little bit of light regeneration. Also, don't forget to recycle these. Let me see. I just picked up another weapon, hacksaw. Right off the bat, you can switch that out with from your uh, common machete. William Bishop's blood is much more unstable than human blood and shows extensive mutation. But this is not what happened to me. I must keep on searching. The right. sun is about to rise. I can feel it. I'll I'm actually going to upgrade the hacksaw. I have oh, so can I upgrade it? I know I can't. I need some parts. Okay. Uh, as of right now, what's what? What is stronger? Is it my hacksaw or uh? Let me see. 65, 64. Yeah, hacksaw is still stronger. So. And then I'm going to um. For secondary, have this. Alright. Let me just check if there's any other nice little knickknacks I can pick up. Alright. Oh. A message. Alright. Now, when you're ready. Take a nice little nap. When going to sleep, you can level up, like always. And I think I'm going to go for... I like to go for hard biting. Actually, because it does a good amount of damage once you get it up there. And it's nice because if you get in a free bite, you pretty much can guarantee a lot of damage right off the bat. But leveling up for us is going to be a little difficult because, uh, you know, 600. This requires 600. I have 600. That does 300 damage. Wait. Why can't I level this up? Oh, I got to be level 6. Okay. So you can't just super boost things. 
Um, body and conditioning, physical prowess, endurance. I would say get your endurance up there. All right, this requires 300 as well. And that's pretty much all I have on me at the moment. Really want to cancel? Oh wait, no. Once you're done, confirm it. If I'm to stay here until my research is complete, I'd better learn to hide my true nature from the mortals. All right. About my thirst for blood. We made a made some nice progress here. I'm gonna take a quick break, but. If you guys are enjoying Vampire so far, right, and you like the content, please leave a like and comment, uh, because that helps out the YouTube algorithm and stuff, and it shows, you know, it, it helps out uh, with notoriety for the channel. I also stream on Twitch, that's in the description below if you want to check that out. Currently, we are starting the Kingdom Hearts playthrough, starting with Kingdom Hearts 1, doing 100% on prop mode. And then, yeah, there's also the Pokemon Marathon going on on the channel. So check that out if you're interested. Other than that, I want to say thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Stay happy, stay healthy, and take care. I'm a chef What else should I be? Please don't take off.